Good day, Grade Tens. Welcome to our second lesson in Week 19. We're still doing Euclidean geometry. Today, we're going to learn about the midpoint theorem. Now, the great thing about being in Grade 10 is we just need to learn how to use the midpoint theorem. We don't have to prove it at all. So let's look at the midpoint theorem. It states that if we join, oopsie, I'm supposed to be on a pen. Oh, sorry. So choose green. If we're on if we have a triangle and we join a line from the midpoint of the one line to the midpoint of the other line. So in other words, we now know that AD equals DC and that AE is equal to EB and we've drawn this construction so this is as it is. Then the midpoint states that this line is parallel to the third side and that the line is equal to half the length of the third side. So in other words, if this here was equal to 10, then this would be half of that, and this would be 5, for example. Or a better way of saying it is that if this line is 2x, then this line would be x. So let's look at an example so we can see how we would use it. It says that if CB equals 16 units. So if CB equals 16 units, how long is DE? So the tricky thing is in this, I must admit, in this presentation, obviously we've just said, look, we've got the midpoint theorem. We know that this is the midpoint and that is the midpoint and that this line is parallel to that line, therefore. And therefore, we also know that this line is half the length of this line. The tricky thing for you guys is when it comes to tests and exams and they put the midpoint theorem in with all the other Euclidean geometry. So the most important thing is for you guys to learn to recognize the midpoint theorem and then to use its properties. So again, we've got the midpoint of D. D is the midpoint of this. E is the midpoint of this. So we've got the midline. This line is parallel to this and CB is double the length of DE so if CB is 16 units DE is 8 units and that is the answer to that nice and easy right and that's it grade 10 is the midpoint theorem please go and make sure you know what makes up a midpoint theorem and what its properties are have a great day mm -hmm.